Hi, I'm Gary and this is my Mystical Medley's Tarot Deck. It was inspired by classic rubber hose cartoons from the 1930s and the Rider Waite Smith Tarot Deck. So, here is the cover in all its glory. It's shown off some of the characters. On the back we've got a selection of some of my favourite cards from the deck, especially this little chap here. And as you can see, we've got the magnetic fold down box, and here he is again. Couldn't leave him out from the main because he's my favourite character and the one I drew first started the whole project off. So, there we go, my name up in light at last. Just take that out. It's a really nice slip case. We've got another one with the characters up at the top. And we've got the pattern and we've got the man himself again. And first we'll have a look at the book. And who is it again? <laughs> Here he is. So it's a really nice hardback book that comes with it. And the forward was written by the awesome Liam Moore. And I don't know if you've read or got any of her work, but you should definitely check it out. So then we've got a, we've got an introduction written by myself. And the next part is a good look at all of the major arcana cards. As you can see, they they are the main archetypes. So every, every character I'm designed is a uni, unique character done in the rubber hose style, but based obviously on the the traditional major arcana archetypes. And there's a, there's a full page. For, for each character so even if you're a seasoned reader or you know if you're a novice you're just new to it because you like the art style you hopefully you'll get a bit of fun from from reading my descriptions so, you know there's a oh and here we go here's <laughs> the, uh, the two bonus cards that you will get in the deck. Hopefully, you'll hear. A lot of people will know where this character was first seen. Where I decided to balance him out with his 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 evil twin. And there's sort of a, a small, shorter description for the for the minor arcana, but we've still got. Loads of the, the characters laid out. Again, the, the, these are my interpretations on the, of, the, of them. So, um, they're done in a bit more of a of a light-hearted and, and, and fun way, but they they still got the the true meanings of the of the cards. Then, for for people who are, who are new to it, I've just pick this up because they, they like the outside. There is an explanation here of how how to read the tarot, and then some example spreads for you to have a little go yourself. And again, these these spreads were inspired by um, the classic cartoons. Again, so quick on the draw, what's a happening, lights, camera, action, and then spirit scale. So, and then the, we, we have the, the the cover as a nice little finish to the to the book. So that's the book. Let's have a little look at the cards.
to get them all out. So there's the back, it's got it's a really nice stock that if people have picked up liminal decks before you'll know how good the um, quality of the cards are. Mine are done with a bit more of a matte finish to get the vintage look. So I mean, this is, and if I hold it close there, you can see this is just one colour and one colour and half tone. So to try and get that real screen printed vintage look. And it's the same for all of the cards. The whole, the whole deck was made from just seven colours, flat colours and then half tones. So to try and replicate the, um, the old screen print effect, get that vintage look to it all. So, um, it's quite warm in here today, <laughs> so I can't, I can't really shuffle them very well. So I'll have a flick through and try and talk. So this was one of the earlier cards that I designed, so trying to get that, that cartoon look with the, the faces on the pillars. Little face down here. Some animal characters again. So always little smiley faces everywhere. <laughs> this was a good one, I really enjoyed doing the Emperor card. I think he came out good. Again, we've gone for the, the classic cartoon of using lots of insects and putting faces onto inanimate objects. enjoy doing trying to get a lot of the uh, the symbol of zoom in and but keep it cartoon look like this as you can see it became the mask off for the box which uh, worked really well I think on the box cover him um, it was one of the earlier cards again he really trying to capture that, that gummy um, rubber hose look and this one as well got the arms going on Lots of little characters, yeah, faces on the on the columns. These ones kind of representing the theatre masks as well. Trying to get that in there. This is definitely one of my favourite cards. Some people have. Uh, I think this looks like Elton John, which is quite funny. Of course, the main card. But yeah, oh, another one of my favourites. I think this one came out well. This really, you know, captures that vibe of the classic cartoons, the Howling Wolf. Another one of my favourites. Hopefully you can see the um, the colour palette throughout. It stays the same. Yeah, and this was really trying to capture that 1930s look of a studio director on set. So the whole of the um, the core cards of the ones are trying to. Like they're acting out a movie. Another one of my favourites that appears on the back of the box. This one was quite fun to do as well. Probably recognise the inspiration for that one. And, from, and for this one. Fantasia. These are all quite nautical. Another one inspired by classic cartoons. And definitely this one. This one. 
looks like the old um, Arabian stories. This was one of my favourites as well. I think this really um, captured that the eerie and like spooky um, cartoons from the thirties. There was quite a lot of them if you if you're into your cartoons from then. The aces were all fun to do as well. In fact, they're all they're all little uh, cloud characters. This guy appears quite often. And all the buildings always have little faces. This one came out quite well as well. More of the insect characters. And this one, uh, this was a favourite. Um, I think I managed to capture a lot of the symbolism in this one. And this was definitely one of my favourites. Probably one of the harder ones to incorporate everything in, but it's my favourite mostly because this little guy down here is actually my son. And while I was drawing this card, he has a snotty nose constantly, so that's what he's got. I really liked the core cards from that as well. And then there's the two bonus cards. So that is a little walkthrough of my deck. I hope you liked it. Thanks.